One of the things that I've noticed over the last 10 years or so is that patients come in and they've they come in and they, they've been given a diagnosis of degenerative disc disease and they come in with a, a heaviness and they, they say, uh, Doc, I, I have degenerative disc disease, so I don't know what you can do for me. And, they, and I've realized over the years that there's a lot of emotional baggage that uh, comes with those words, degenerative disc disease. And part of that is that I've realized that almost no one really understands what they're talking about when they come in and they say those words to me. So I thought it would be helpful if we sort of unpack uh, that term so we understand what is degenerative disc disease. And what degenerative disc disease, um, well, to step back for a moment, degenerative discs is when the disc actually starts to dry out. It's sort of as discs uh, wear with time, the, the, the discs themselves are uh, a cushion so that the bones aren't rubbing on each other and they're, full, they're filled with uh, fluid. And as we all get older, it's normal for the, the discs to start to lose some of that fluid so that by the time someone is 50, certainly by the time they're 60, everyone's going to have degenerative discs. That's, that's something that you're going to see on uh, an MRI on someone as they get a little bit older. But as I just said, everyone's going to get that, so clearly it doesn't always cause pain. In fact, it usually doesn't. Uh, people are walking around all the time with degenerative discs and no pain. So degenerative disc disease is a term that comes in to say, look, when those degenerative discs are painful, then we'll call it degenerative disc disease. And the reality is that when people have chronic lower back pain, so we're going to define that as people that have had back pain for longer than three months, and when those people are older than 18 years of age, then 40% of the time, that back pain is coming from their disc. Um, and as the discs get, get older and you start to see that kind of wear and tear in it we, call it, we can call it degenerative disc disease. But what's actually causing the pain in somebody that has a painful degenerative disc or degenerative disc disease is when there's a tear on the inside of the disc. It's actually called an annular tear. And so basically, as we said before, the disc is sort of like a, it's a cushion between the, the bones. The, the way I like to think of it is like a jelly donut. And so there's the inner jelly, which um, is actually full of inflammatory proteins. It's what gives the, cushion, the, the disc the cushioning. And then in the outer third of the crust of the disc called the annulus, the annulus fibrosis, there are nerve fibers. And when discs cause back pain, it's because there's been a tear and some of that jelly has extravasated out, it gets gone out into the outer third of the annulus, and it starts irritating those nerve fibers. It's called an annular tear, and when discs cause pain, that's what's, that's what's actually happening to, to cause the pain. Now that can happen in an 18-year-old, in someone with, a, with a, a lot of fluid in their discs and no degeneration really of note other than the annular tear. Um, and it can happen in someone who's 30, 50, 80, 90, 100. Um, and when someone has uh, a tear like that that's causing pain, it's the inflammation, right, within uh, that, that's irritating those nerve fibers that's actually causing the pain from the disc. Inflammation is a protein response. The, the way that I like to think about it is that it's like a fire. There are two ways that you can put out a fire, right? One is you clear away the sticks, you clear away the fodder from around the, the, the fire, and the fire uh, has a tendency to, to take care of itself. So in a surgeon's world, that's surgery, right? You're, you're literally moving around the structure, you're moving bones, you're moving discs. Um, in my world, that tends to be more physical therapy, uh, Pilates, posture, yoga, manipulations, trying to get all the muscles to take the pressure off of, in this case, the back, so that the back can basically uh, calm down and heal itself. Sometimes you take some water and you dump it on that fire. A lot of our day um, as an interventional spine doctor, we're, we are that fire hose, right? We're basically, we're, we're, we're taking a needle, we're going under a fluoroscopy or under an x-ray, and we're delivering anti-inflammatory medication around the inflamed spot, in this case, the disc. The nice thing about that is the water goes in the fire, the fire tends to go out. But the limitation of that is that even when the fire goes out, the water invariably turns off, right? And so when the water turns off, it doesn't mean that the fire is going to come back, but it doesn't mean that it's not either. So when somebody uses injections 
um, as an anti-inflammatory to take away the, the inflammation. It's really important that we think of that as more of a window of opportunity that then enables someone to go learn some exercises and work on the mechanics uh, so that you start taking the pressure off of the, the disc so that as the, the water you know, goes away, the fire doesn't, doesn't come back in three, six, nine, 12 months or whatever. Uh, and that's the basic way that, that we tend to approach uh, degenerative disc disease non-surgically is to either think of it mechanically and think about how we're gonna unload the disc through exercise and uh, uh, ergonomics and, and sort of your, your daily activities. Um, or we're going to use, use some uh, interventional modalities to take away the inflammation from around the disc and then couple that to doing some exercises to, um, to make sure that we're not sitting back here and, and having to worry about taking away the inflammation again. And then there, there, are, there are some ancillary things that, 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 get, that get talked about, but that's the, that's the main evidence-based way of approaching degenerative disc disease non-surgically.